right? Which was a bad guy. Right. But you're, you're, Lucifer. but you're, you, you, but of course then by then it would have been, uh, that would have been your great, great, great first timer guy that came. <laughs> right, right. And, right. and exactly. so and since then you've kind of mixed in with the Israelites. Right. But, but, but you're really talking ancestrally here in that discussion. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't claim to be from, right. uh, they're not the, uh, pure blood Israel. Israel. Yeah, They're not from Israel. blooded Israelites. Being so half- he just flat out told them, you yes. aren't, you aren't the same as Israel because yes, that's you right. are your father. You're the synagogue and your father. Now let me, let's go back into John. And so they had two things going. They had a bad attitude. Right. And a, <laughs> and a satanic religion. And usury. Plus, and usury. And, and usury. Plus, genetically, you were from somewhere else off this planet. That was bad. That's right. Hey, that's messed up pretty good, you know? Yeah. Well, this is what the Bible is really teaching. If you can remove all the layers of garbage that have been layered on top of it by the various churches, including the Jewish church. So is this the same thing as we keep hearing about the tares and the wheat? That's right. Exactly. And we can talk about that next time, okay? But let's go back into John chapter 8, verse 39. Uh, Remember, he just said that my father, which is... Yahweh, the Father, the Creator, and your Father are different. We have different fathers, okay? Verse 39. Then they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus says to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But they don't do the works of Abraham, do they? No, not not lately. Isn't usury forbidden? Yeah, let's see. In Christianity and, and in Muslim tradition, yes. usury is is forbi- forbidden. So isn't homosexuality think, forbidden? Oh, big time! Uh, who who are the world's foremost promoters of it? Obama, the Jews. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How yeah, about feminism? Yeah, right. Yes. Okay. You you well, look that, at every major crime being committed in the world today. The Jews are the ones promoting it. It was a CIA operation in cahoots with the Mossad, and I can tell you all the references on right, that one. Right, and, and behind the scenes, they are finagling and finessing every terrorist activity on the planet. And, CIA. And it was, and it was started, started by Gloria Steinem. Right, right, exactly. That was getting back to feminism, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. let's continue here. But now you seek to kill me. A man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Abraham never killed an innocent person. No. He almost did. He almost did when he, when he was about to sacrifice Isaac. Yeah, his his son. Yeah, yeah. That was just a test. Yahweh was testing him to see if he was, uh, really, really loyal, right? Okay. Now, verse 41, you do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication, which means race mixing. We be not really? born. That's right. It means race mixing. We have one father, even God. They're, te- they're saying we're not, we're not fornicators. We're true blooded descendants of Abraham. But they just proved to him that they weren't because they were never in bondage. Proving wow. that they were Edomites, okay? Descendants so of Esau. They, so they weren't in bondage, but they've been trying to mimic by saying yeah, they were from Abraham. There you go. Mimic. Excellent word. Yes. Verse 42. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my, or you cannot understand what I say. You are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks of a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Well, who's the first liar? Who's the first murderer in biblical Cain. history? Cain. And there Cain, you go. Cain. Cain. Canaanites. And, Cain. and then Cain, daddy, was who? Nachash, the fallen Nachash. angel. Yes. Okay. So what we're, what you're saying is they have a propensity to a not far, prop- 
to fa- not fall far from the apple tree. That's right. That's a, although in this case, it's a Nephilim tree. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the okay. book of Genesis, uh, trees, and, and in various parts of the Bible, trees uh, are representative of races of people. Uh, okay. yeah, I've kind of, I kind of noticed that. Now, Eli, mm-hmm. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna act, actually, uh, ask you to, uh, somebody's ask, uh, they wanted to hear about some predictions. So they're real anxious okay. to hear about okay. some, some predictions. I know okay. you've got some more to say, but the last 15 minutes might be kind of intriguing. Now yeah. that we've got a picture of who we are, who they say mm-hmm. they are, and that, and that Christ actually engaged with them. Right. Uh, you know, uh, this you fully understanding kind of, who they are. Yes. Yeah, this kind of smacks upside the head. This ooey gooey, gushy wushy. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, uh, Pity turn, Christianity. Turn, yeah. turn the other cheek kind of mentality. Right. And uh, yeah. as far as I knew, actually turning the other cheek was to well, actually keep them from smacking you in disrespect, so they have to hit you with the other right. side of the hand, well, which was yeah. which was not you know allowing them to make you a, a slave. Remember, the Sermon on the Mount had to deal with your neighbors, the people you live with, okay? So ordinarily, your neighbor is not an invading army, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. He told the, the, the apostles when they go out to seek uh, converts, okay, to take a sword just in case they get attacked physically, okay? Right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of like telling them how to prepare which is right. what a lot of people are actually wanting to do. And, and on, a, on the John Chronicles and on the Waterman Files, right. we're really trying to, 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 to talk about community right. because exactly. of preparedness. But we don't know how to prepare if we don't right. know who we are. Now, now the so people how in your can... community, you, you, have, you have a different set of rules. You know, if, if, your, if your neighbor slaps you across the face because he, he's accusing you that you did something wrong and you're totally innocent, and you turn the other cheek, that's literal, you know. But if that, if that guy's an invading army, that doesn't apply. Oh. You get your sword oh. and you fight back, right? <laughs> so, it's a completely different so, context. So tell us then what right. is on the horizon that we need to prepare for, and uh, that well, would probably lead right into, you know. Right, right. Prepare, uh, well, well, it's 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 the battle of Armageddon. That's what we're getting ready to face right now. And uh, let me go to Ezekiel chapter 35, okay? And where, where he talks about Idumea. We're talking about these Idumeans, okay? Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir was where Esau settled, okay? And prophesy against it, and say to it, Thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you. And I will stretch out my hand against you, and I will make you most desolate. I will lay your cities waste, and you shall be desolate, and you shall know that I am Yahweh, because you have had a perpetual hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and in the time that their iniquity had an end. I didn't know what that meant. Okay. In the time of their calamity. Well, that was when the Israelites came out of Egypt. The, oh, oh uh, I see. Okay. Okay. The uh, the Amalekites, who were Edomites, okay, were so they uh, were having this this big trouble of of migrating right. out of of bondage, and right. uh, when the when they were down, they kicked them. And the and the Edomites were always our enemies, trying to destroy us. Okay. So you know, a lot okay. of people are going to think, "Oh, yeah, I know about the Armageddon." Everybody thinks they know about the Armageddon, meaning, mm-hmm. and they often think that means the end of the world stuff. It's not quite that, I don't well, think. It's, but it's the end of the it, current uh, world order. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, we do have something, don't we? In the meantime, while it's building up to that, called yes. world government that they're trying to establish. That's right. That's right. Now, tell, it's Mystery now, tell, so tell me, are we going to be getting that, and are we going to have oh, yes. one? And and, okay, so oh, we've, we've uh, got said, it already. Okay, so uh, can you lead us up to the Armageddon with this yes. stuff that we might well, be expecting, or do you want to okay. finish this first? Well, no, this is uh, you know the, the prophecy of uh, Gog and Magog in Ezekiel uh, dovetails with the same prophecy, similar prophecy in the Book of Revelation, and uh, it sounds like the, um, the the person who's asking the question 
is more interested in the the Revelation prophecy. So let me turn to that, and that's in Revelation chapter 20. Okay. And I'm almost there. I'm in uh, chapter 21. And uh, toward the 